Good morning, friends. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are doing well, and I hope you guys are ready for some major luxury eye candy today because we are going shopping at the Galleria Mall here in Houston, Texas. I am here for just a fun little weekend away, and when I heard that they had the biggest mall in Texas, you know I had to see this thing for myself, guys. Earlier this week, it was my birthday, so I am technically birthday shopping. If you saw my recent wish list video, you know I have quite a few things that I'm eyeing that are new in for spring 2024, so I'm going to be taking you guys along with me today. Before we head on over to the mall, we are going to be getting a little bit of brunch. So that is what I am dressed for right now. And then we will get into the shopping. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you like it, friends. If you want to hang out with me and enjoy this fun little day shopping in Houston, Texas, then keep watching. I know that the lighting isn't super great, but I did just want to show you guys my outfit for today. I just went with very simple and comfortable in case I want to try anything on or whatever. I am wearing these jeans from Tresse Pants. Paris. I think you can still get them. I will link them down below. I just have my comfortable M. Jemmy sneakers. I have this Phoebe John tank top. Again, just like super simple, my ideal jewelry. And then I have this cute little Yusefi bag that I've just been using for this whole weekend. We were here for the rodeo. So I went with something that was like a little bit, you know, more boho. So this is my comfy little brunch and shopping outfit for today. Right, so we are at the Galleria. We're looking for parking. We just had brunch at a place called Boss Cat, I believe it was called. I think it's in like Uptown River Oaks. It was so good. I had a chicken and waffle sandwich with fries. It was so delicious. And a glass of champagne. And then Tyler had some coffee. And what was yours? Like a pulled pork Benedict? Like a pulled pork Smokehouse. Benedict. Smokehouse Benedict. Oh my gosh so so good if you guys are visiting houston or if you live there or whatever go to boss cat for brunch it was delicious and like i said we're just looking for parking right now we're in like a huge parking lot and then i don't know hopefully we'll find a spot soon we are in the mall we made it Woo, look at that flag all right i'm gonna let you go now okay Okay, so we are in the mall. This place is so big and so nice and so clean. So these are the pieces that I'm trying on from Louis Vuitton. They won't let me film in the store, but I can film here in the dressing room. So the main thing that I asked for is this skirt from the Remix collection. This is in a size 36, which hopefully will be my size. And it's just got this cool like damier print. I like the little anchor that they have here in the little leather pocket. And then it looks like he brought me the matching jacket. So cute. Let's try these on. Okay, so here is the skirt. I think it's actually really cute. And it's surprisingly a pretty good fit. It's even maybe like a little bit loose. Like it might need a little bit of tailoring here at the top or maybe like a little bit of shortening, but I feel like it looks really cute. Comment down below, let me know what you guys think. I feel like I'm at an awkward angle. The lighting in here is like not the most flattering. <laughs> here it is with the jacket. The jacket's like, I don't know, a little bit oversized, but still really cute. I just don't know how often I would wear this because it's like kind of hard to pair with jeans. Like 
I guess you could wear it with a dress, but a lot of my dresses are kind of like printed and floral. I don't know. It's like a bit much for me, but it's a very beautiful jacket. I love all the little details. You didn't know, you know, Louis Vuitton. You might not know immediately that it is Louis Vuitton until you see like these little details on here. Okay, so here is the other skirt that he brought. I can't really say that I like this one. I feel like it's just meh. It could be like from any brand. I don't really like the feel of the leather either. And it's just like too many, <laughs> too many buttons. I don't know, a little bit frumpy on me. So I think, I don't know, I like the other one better. I'm just wondering if maybe I should go size down. Okay, so these are the gorgeous boots that I have been eyeing, guys. This is what I've wanted to try on. These come in a couple of different colors, but I really like these, the blue ones, the chambray ones, and they kind of like, I think they're from the same collection. These are called the Desert Boot, and they look really comfortable and really practical. So let's try these on. Okay, so here are the boots. But will I wear them like once it gets hot? That's the question. I feel like these would go well with like black jeans. What do you guys think? Let me zoom out a little bit. I would definitely not wear it with this skirt, but like picture this with some cute black jeans or something like that, or like a different kind of skirt. Okay, so he brought some more things for me to try on size we have this cute skirt which is also from the remix collection i really like this little zipper and then he got this cute little sweater tank which let's pray i don't get makeup on guys and then these i don't know if this is a skirt or shorts but i'm gonna try them on okay so this skirt is so cute oh my gosh it's so cute with the boots it's got like this little zipper can see I like that it has this like little D ring so you can clip like I don't know a little key fob or some other Louis Vuitton accessory very cute fit you can see it with like the boots okay so the shorts are surprisingly really cute they're like maybe a little bit small I just don't I don't like this sweater top because it's like too long and you like can't tuck it in. It just makes me look so bulky. Okay, so here are the shorts with the tank top. You can see they're like a lot cuter. They're like a little bit tight, but they're made of this like really pretty kind of like a tweed fabric. Here's what it looks like. It's like very substantial with like leather right here on the waistband. All right, mischief managed at Louis Vuitton. The sales associate was so nice. Everybody in the store was super nice. They wouldn't let me film, of course. Louis Vuitton like never lets you record anything, but hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing some of the pieces that I tried on. Can you guess what I bought? Can you guess? You probably can guess. Right now, I think I'm gonna go to probably Chanel. I also wanna go to the Louis Vuitton men's store, which looks like they have a separate one right up here. And then, yeah, I don't know. We'll see where the day takes us. Next up, friends, I went to Chanel. Surprise, surprise. And all of the sales associates here were so chill, so laid back. They were very helpful. I felt so relaxed in the store. I had a very good time. And I was primarily shopping for shoes. I wanted to see kind of like what new sandals they had in for spring. You guys will notice they do have some older styles that are shown here from like the Camellia collection, for example, but they did get in some of their new styles for spring 2024, so that's what I was there to try on. You will notice that there are a lot of kind of light pastel pinks, but also cornflower blue. That is a big color for this spring and summer, I guess for 2024 in general. I also think that these kind of like wooden platform sandals, I think those are gonna be really popular this spring. 
if I were to guess. Now, the styles that I was there to try on are number one, these beautiful leather wedges. Is that what you would call these wedges? I saw these on Instagram somewhere and I just, I had to try them on. I thought they were so, so cute. So I showed them the photo when I walked in and they pointed me towards these. Luckily they had them. They are so comfortable. They are like buttery soft. I guess they're lambskin, I'm not really sure. I really like the fact that you get the quilting both across the foot, but also on the heel. And it's like a different style of quilting. It definitely looks very Chanel, but still very wearable. I also really liked the fact that it was a wedge. So it's not like a super high heel. It's almost like a wearable summer sandal that you could definitely dress down with jeans, but also wear with like a cute dress and you know dress it up and everything like you would with heels. I also really like the little rhinestone detail on the heel. It's like a little multicolored rhinestones. They are so cute. And then the other pair that I tried on, which it seems like so many of you guys were excited about when I posted this on Instagram, are these super cute cornflower blue suede chunky sandals. Okay, and I was totally influenced by Jennifer from All Feisty because she got these shoes and then I saw them in the boutique and I was like, okay, I mean, if they're here and they're in my size, then I'll try them on. I was kind of on the fence about these. I wasn't sure if I was gonna be able to style up this color. Comment down below, let me know which pair you liked better. Do you like the black wedges or do you like the cornflower blue? chunky sandals. The women in the store were like, oh, we love both, we love both. I thought both of them were really comfortable. Can you guess which ones I got? Can you guess? Can you guess? <laughs> and since I was there, I also had a ton of fun trying on a bunch of these sunglasses. I really wanted to see the ones that had the little heart mirror things on the side. They were so, so cute, guys. They are very expensive, I will say that, but they were totally, totally me. Comment down below and let me know what you think of these. They also had these with the little pearl going down the side, so chic, so Chanel. And check out these, it had like the tweed effect. I thought that these were really cool as well, maybe a little bit extra, but definitely really fun to try on. I had an amazing time in this boutique. Like I said, guys, the sales associate was so chill. She let me try on as many sunglasses as I wanted. And overall, it was just a really good time. Next up, friends, I went to the Louis Vuitton men's boutique. Yes, it is a completely separate store in the mall, fully dedicated to Louis Vuitton men's. They they have lots of ready to wear. They have many sneakers, of course, but they also had some really cool like homewares and like travel luggage and that kind of stuff. It was a really cool store and you all know why I was here. I really wanted to see if there was anything left from Pharrell's first collection and they did have a couple of things. I'll kind of walk you through the stuff that I tried on. First off, we have the bags. If you saw my wish list video, you will know that I was very interested in these little mini Speedy 18 Damier pop bags. This one is in the red Damier. I thought it was really cute. It does look a little bit basic. It looks a little bit, you know, kind of like other things that I've seen from Louis Vuitton before. I also tried on this bag, which didn't really catch my eye online, but I was kind of curious about it when I was in store. This is, I think they just call it the messenger bag. I like this because the strap was adjustable, but also what I didn't realize is that you can also carry this as a top handle bag. The little strap on the top allows you to carry it with your hand, which I really liked. I kind of like the versatility of it. It is roomy, it fits a decent to mount, but it's not super bulky, which is sometimes what you get from men's bags. I thought it was just like a really cute, sporty bag. I don't know, comment down below. Let me know what you think of this one. Obviously, I wanted to try it on in the green because I'm a Boston Celtics fan and I was looking for a green bag. And when I told the sales associate that I was interested in a green bag, he also showed me this one right here. This is actually left over from one of Virgil Abloh's last runway collections. I thought it was a really cool bag. I know it's not for everybody. I know it's a little bit masculine looking and it's kind of like this rubbery material, but I have to admit it definitely is unique. I think the deal breaker for me with this style is that the strap is not adjustable. So if you are a larger person, you know, it's designed for a man, then I think that this would work out better for you. But on my smaller frame, it was just like a little bit too long. I also tried on this other style, basically the same bag, but with um, kind of like the monogram and like a chrome shift. I just thought it was really cool, guys. Comment down below, let me know what you think. And now I'm gonna show you guys the ready to wear that I tried on. 
Okay, so I've got some men's ready to wear here. This is a t-shirt. It's got kind of like some little embroidery here. And then what I really like about this is the pearls. This is an extra small. The only thing is that like, the shoulders are always really big on the men's clothing. So with this kind of like thicker t-shirt fabric, it doesn't really fall nicely. It's like a little bit weird here and I don't even know if it's like worth tailoring, but it's super cool. Here's kind of another view of it. You guys can see the pearls and stuff. Okay, so this one is not in my size, but they can order it for me. This is like two, three sizes bigger, but it's kind of like a t-shirt, but it's not a t-shirt. It actually is made with like a sweater material. So it's a lot more substantial and kind of like soft and flowy. And it's got like the green damier print. I definitely thought that this was more of like a t-shirt when I saw it online, but I like the fact that it's actually more of a sweater. So I think in the smaller size, this should work. And I like the fact that it kind of like, I don't know, like drapes a little bit more. So here is the extra small in another similar shirt. So I'm thinking maybe the green one that I just tried on, but in this size, which they can order for me. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. This is like, I'm gonna get makeup all over this. Like I can't, I can't have this. I don't know if you guys can see, but it does have the monogram print on it. And then this like cute little pocket. And that is the end of my little shopping vlog, friends. I hope that you enjoy coming along with me today. Comment down below and guess what do you think that I bought for my birthday? And make sure you are subscribed to my channel because I am gonna be doing a little birthday haul very, very soon. I'm gonna be unboxing all the goodies that I got. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't already. And with that, friends, I hope that you see some beauty in your day and I will see you in my next one. Goodbye.